When you produce extra clear glass, you know about higher temperature transmission compared to standard glass. The consequence: higher glass temperature near the furnace bottom leads to a distinctive corrosion profile. This increases the risk for a catastrophic glass leak. This is why most people in the extra clear glass industry use cavity-free blocks, which is a good choice, but doesn't take into account another weak point: the joints. Because of lower glass viscosity and pressure near the melter bottom, extra clear glass can more easily infiltrate joints, especially on large furnaces. No matter how much effort is put into prevention. But why is this? Okay, let's take a closer look. When glass temperature rises, the joints close. This is due to the temperature expansion behavior of AZS material. But after a certain temperature is reached, this behavior inverts. The material begins to shrink, and the joints begin to open again. Experts speak of the transition from a monoclinic to a quadratic crystal phase. So, what happens now? Due to its low viscosity on the walls as well as at the bottom, the extra clear glass starts to penetrate the reopened joints and. The disaster takes its course. Blisters and bubbles caused by the melting process rise and start their destructive work. This phenomenon, upward drilling, generally only affects the furnace bottom, but the result is the same: severe wear. Fortunately, we developed a solution. By combining zirconia with yttrium, one of the rare earth elements, we are able to change its properties. Now zirconia transformation takes place at a much lower temperature. Therefore, the material expansion is at its maximum at the working temperature, so that the joints are fully closed again. What a miracle! ER 2010 RIC, our solution for extra clear glass, is available for soldier blocks and paving tiles. It increases the lifetime of your furnace, and in the end, gives you peace of mind.